Hello, welcome to another episode of Phantom Bricks. We've just finished up the fourth quarter of 2023. And as you can see behind me, the cupboard is pretty bare. We want to thank everyone who bought sets from us during the holiday season. We really appreciate your support. Now today, we've got a brand new friend set to show you. It is Ollie and Paisley's Family Houses, set number 42620. It is a cool dual house build, so let's get to it. Hope you enjoyed watching that build as much as we did building it. Now let's take a look at the set. Being a dual house build, this set represents very good value. You get two separate individual builds for the price of one. Let's talk a little bit about the style. 
One of the things that I really love about this set is how each of the houses is designed in a way that really reminds me of mid-century modern architecture. At the angles that they use, the placement of the windows, and the angled roof lines, the use of a single pitch roof rather than a gabled roof. Now one of the things that really jumped out at me about this set were the windows. So on Ollie's you get the three uppers that are placed along the angle of the roof line, a wall of windows for the living room, and then a pitched window on the side of the house. I don't know, I'm no architecture expert, but all of these design elements really you know, make me think mid-century modern. In Paisley's house, I love how the designers use the horizontal window build for her room. Again, love the use of the wall of windows for the kitchen and the extra windows that they added around the entry door. I'm no expert, but all of these elements, all of these window elements in particular, make me think that the designers were going for a real mid-century vibe here. Let's turn and look at the, each of the houses in a little bit more detail. Each of the houses is smaller than other house sets we've gotten recently, like Andrea's house, Mia's house, even if we go all the way back to Olivia's house a decade ago. So in Ollie's house, we get a bedroom, a living room, and a bathroom. Always get a bathroom. I don't know, you know, sometimes I wonder if Lego has an entire team that's focused on designing bathrooms because it feels like I'm building bathrooms all the time. One of the things that we've focused on in the past has been the level of detail that we see in the friend set. And Ollie's house is no different. So if we look up into Ollie's room, we get a cat bed with a cat, a vlogging setup, his bed that comes with a personalized bedspread. Now that's a stickered piece. Not printed, but that's kind of what we've come to expect with friend sets. There's not as much detail in the living room, but we get a nice couch build and there's a nice set of shelves that come off of the back of the bathroom. I think the Lego bathroom design team did a good job here. They continue to impress with how much they do with uh, just a handful of pieces. Now let's move around to the front of the house. There's a nice front planting area right in front of the windows to the living room. I love the use of the dual slope bricks that are in alternating orientations to represent a real brick built garden edge. One of my favorite elements in the set is the garden gnome. Now I love how the designers use just four pieces to represent a garden gnome and really nail it. Some nice flora on the side of the house as well. Let's turn to Paisley's house. Now given that it's got more space horizontally, it's not as abbreviated as Ollie's house. So up in Paisley's bedroom, we have a bed for her, as well as a nice little bed for her younger sister. The kitchen in Paisley's house has that level of detail that we've come to expect in friend sets. Let's pull out the kitchen table, which has place settings for three for Paisley's dad and her sister and Paisley. I love how the designers did the booster seat for her younger sister. Hiding behind the table is a nice fireplace build that sits right below a TV. On the other side of the kitchen, which is also taken out here, is a construct with a refrigerator, stove, and oven. Coming to the outside of the house, there's a nice, simple treehouse construct. One of the elements about this that I love is the fact that on the front boards of the treehouse, they have the number 22. Now, Ollie's house is 21, Paisley's house is 23, so they assign the treehouse number 22 right in between. The set comes with five mini dolls. We get Ollie, Gwen, and Martin, all for Ollie's house. Now with Paisley's house, we get Paisley, her dad Jonathan, and a micro doll for her younger sister. So a nice lineup of Friends characters comes with this set. So there you have it, Ollie and Paisley's Family Houses, set number 42620. It's available now. Retails for $99.99 in the US. You can find it on our website at www.phantom-toys.com or if we're out of stock, you can always find it at lego.com. Phantom Bricks is produced by Phantom Toys and Games. We're an online retailer and an authorized dealer of Lego products, which means every Lego product you buy from us is guaranteed to be genuine and authentic. If you enjoyed this content, please consider hitting the subscribe link below. We'd love to hear from our viewers, so please leave a comment as well. And until next time, happy building.